Okay. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, which I know was annoying for Marty Bass, and I don't blame him. <laughs> but we're going to go back to him now to see what he has for us this morning. Good morning, Marty. Fill us in. No, it's, it, it, it's all good. A live broadcast. We, we plug the cable back in. We're good to go. <laughs> we're seven miles north of Westminster in Union Mills. This is Bill Connor. About two weeks ago, we issued an appeal on the air saying, we want you to give us anything you think is interesting. If you look twice, let us know. Bill immediately got in touch with us and said, I have the largest collection of glass candy containers in the state. Correct. In 1985, you started collecting glass candy containers. How many do you think you have? Well, over 1,200. So, I mean, and, and they're, they're displayed. When I walked in Bill's home, I thought I was walking into a retail store because I was joking yesterday in a tease. I said, who does all these things? You don't have to. This, this, it's like walking in a museum. <laughs> well, thank you. you. These go back some to the 1800s? 1876 uh, from the centennial celebration in Philadelphia. And they were made up into the 1950s when they went to plastic, like Pez containers and so forth. But this is, these were toys. They would be, and some of these are full of the original candy. That is correct. And they were bought for children. Candy was eaten, and the objects were played with. I mean, you've got you've got trains, you've got cars, anything you could put a, a, a figurines from fairy tales. Right. I mean, this is crazy. There are uh, comic. You got uh, comic characters. Comic so, characters. so what's it, what, let me ask you, your friends, do they go? There's old crazy Bill. He's buying more candy dishes. <laughs> Step on over here. We're gonna let K. We're gonna let K. Two come on through, folks. What we're showing you, by the way. Is, is literally just a little over half of what's in this room. Next half hour, we're going to show you the rest. Do your friends say, Bill, you, you buying another one of them things? Yeah, well, I get, get quite a few questions about spending money. <laughs> do you really? Okay, so for, for Christmas, do like your friends, family find you these antiques? Well, they have in years past. It's not possible to find any I don't have at this point. Uh, there are about uh, about twenty. That you know, you know what, you know what I just heard in my ear. Miranda, our producer, said you really need to eat one of those candies. That wouldn't be a good <laughs> idea. Tell her why. <laughs> no, I don't think you want to eat candy that's a hundred years old. <laughs> oh, oh, we could. It wouldn't be as healthy as the broccoli, but it, it, what a deal. I mean, okay, now, I do have to ask a question, because these are adequately displayed. They're beautiful. You can see behind us there. Um, but what is not in... Uh, the cable unplugged again. Again. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we get the idea. I wish I had yes, a candy dish. I would send it to you. Oh, they're back. And they're uh, gone again. And they're gone again. So we'll check in. <laughs> right. As Marty says, bit. it is live yeah. television. Anything can All happen. Right.